What's up guys and welcome back to the channel man Welcome back to the channel man Today's video, I gotta make this video man Because I've already been having these problems with my car And I've been doing a little research And I found out that Dodge is actually being sued Now, from what I understand It's the 2015s all the way up to like 2018s I think that's having this problem If you've been following my channel, you already know I've been having problems with my valve stems and my wheels so from what my research is telling me is this is a problem that Dodge was familiar with but they never did a recall or anything like that so they were actually being sued because of this so I just wanted to make this video because this is a problem I'm actually having and if you haven't seen that video I'm going to show the clip right here oh what the hell I know I didn't just hear air come out this joint when I hit this stem right here. Hold on. When I hit the stem, air came out. Hold on. Oh, what the hell, huh? That can't be good. So as you see, my valve stem um, was leaking. I went to wipe my wheels down and the valve stem was leaking um, air. And basically, my tire pressure sensors was reading, wasn't reading anything. It was just showing blank, like a straight line. I never really knew how much pressure was in my tires because at some point, at one point, it was reading perfect, 32 PSI, then one, then another second, it wouldn't show anything. So I took my car to the dealership. They replaced the valve stem. Um, everything is all good. So this morning, no, the other day I woke up and this is what I saw. Now look at this, guys. Now look at this. And my tire pressure sensor is blinking. Now this is the same thing that was happening. Let me turn this head down. This is the same thing that was happening when I had my other uh, valve stem replaced. But every now and then for the last couple weeks, this has been happening. So basically, I'm having the same issue all over again. And again, my car's a 2016, and this is a problem that everybody was having from models 2015 all the way up to 2018. So if you got a 2015 all the way to a 2018 Dodge Charger, Chrysler, any FCA Mopar product, it could be a Dodge Ram, and your tire pressure sensor is malfunctioning, this is probably why. And you probably need to go ahead and replace all four of them because I've already replaced two of mine. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go back and have the front um, the front ones done because now my front right, front passenger side tire pressure sensor is malfunctioning. So this is a problem. And um, it's a damn shame that Dodge didn't do a recall to address this issue, man, so. It's actually this wheel, and I don't think it's leaking. Matter of fact, let me turn the car because I can't tell. I just know it's windy out here, man. Hopefully, it ain't too windy. But let's see if this one's leaking like my back one was. Nope. So it's probably just, it's probably starting to corrode, and that's why the uh, sensor is malfunctioning, like you saw in the, little, in the clip. And I just had this one replaced. See, this one's brand new. See that? Oh, that looks fresh. See, that one's fresh. And let's look at this one. See how, see all that junk? See how this one's starting to look old? And this camera not focusing, but if you look at it, see how that one looks all corroded and messed up compared to the other one? And that's the problem that they're talking about. So that's what this video is about. I just wanted y'all to be aware of this issue. So if you was actually having this problem, this is actually what's going on. And so I've already had the driver's side rear one replaced, passenger side rear replaced. And now I gotta do my fronts. Um, and again, this is from models 2015 all the way up to 2018. And uh, you can make your own decision. And I think 
FCA already had part of the lawsuit uh, thrown out, but there's still some stuff still pending. So it's pretty much on us, man. So you just definitely got to be aware of this. Check your tire pressures, check your valve stems and make sure they're not corroded. Because I think what they did in a newer model, uh, Dodge Chargers and Challengers and Chryslers, they're starting to use the uh, the rubber valve stems. So they're not actually having this issue anymore. So, But if you got an older Charger, you might want to check it, bro. So if this is your first time joining my channel, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.